And then, an almost unknowable moment. Everything becoming everywhere. The instantaneous hiss of symmetry breaking. Particles assembling, matter emerging. First, the core of hydrogen. The first steps towards an unquenchable nuclear fire. Unquenchable for lack of water. Igniting the foundry of a strange physical arithmetic. And now wait. Please wait for 380,000 years. Wait for cooling, for the strange static to die away. We're waiting for electrons, waiting for stars. And then, the nebulae reach out with tendrils, tendrils of stars becoming. And there, hydrogen gathers its electrons, begins to burn begins to forge the pieces of water, the pieces of life. The arithmetic of alchemy. Forge three helium, make carbon. Burn carbon, make nitrogen. Forge oxygen with oxygen, make phosphorus. The pieces of life now in place. Forge helium with carbon, make oxygen pieces of water now in place. And now wait. Please wait for 9,000 million years. Wait for the slow, slow dance of gravity to do the gathering. We're waiting for rocks, waiting for planets. And then a silent disk around a blinding star intercepting a vast confusion of dust, collecting into its orbits the gases and rocks of new worlds. Now comes a long shower of asteroids, bringing water to freeze or boil, or somewhere to make oceans and lakes. So the water has gathered, the elements dissolve. Wait. Please wait for 600,000 years. Wait for the inexorable, improbable reactions to unfold. We are waiting for molecules, waiting for life. And then, a warm little pond, on the edge of a searing outlet in deep sea blackness, holds a molecule that has learned how to remember. How to remember, how to make itself, and so it does. The mindless ratchet released, soon the many ways of making and breaking are invented, and water is broken with the sun, spitting its oxygen as poison. And the endless race of stealing, killing, and sharing is underway. And now wait. Please wait 3,500 million years. Wait for the precious poison to build up. We're waiting for the big poison breathers. Waiting for animals. And then, the shallow seas fill with layers of water breakers. Only to be shocked by the slow suddenness of the coming of quiet grazers. They by the sharp jaws, now breaking shells. On all the strange shapes of all the strange lives brought forth in water.
The big plates keep drifting and rafting, separating and joining, and the ferocious tangle of ways of gathering, eating, hunting spills onto the bright empty shores to fill every cold mountain, every flat, soilless space, and every broken surface with yet more ways of growing. And now wait. Please wait for 580 million years. Wait for the savannah to grow dry. We are waiting for the ones who can know. Waiting for humanity. And then they come walking from the south to the north, to the east to the south, to the ends of the drifted continents, with a dreaming so fierce and powerful that even lack of water cannot stop them. And as they quietly disperse, filling the night skies of each land's horizon with their own knowing and imagining, their hunting turns to growing, and each crop begins to feed the core of villages and towns. And now wait. Please wait for 10,500 years. Wait for the cold engines of science and commerce to ignite. We are waiting for the entry of living memory, waiting for you. And then you arrive, we arrive with our own list of deep desires. To some particular place, maybe this particular place, this place like many, but this place unlike any. world's deep thirst empties each pool. And severs untold billion year chains of unbroken chemical reaction. In this chaos of joy and death, dust and beauty, each flickering moment passes in a race to build hope on ignorance, data on instinct. Whose happiness is being built here? And now wait. Please wait for your own several decades. We are waiting for the unthinkable future of a million flickering generations beyond. And then, the unwatched survivors, the descendants we cannot know, fight their way as oceans bury themselves in Earth's mantle or evaporate under an expanding sun. Cold salt will hold the last living etchings of 6,000 million years. The sun, forger of the parts of water, of the parts of life. Next so large it eats the earth, next so weak it cannot fuse carbon, dies. And so does this long experiment with water.
and now wait. Please wait for a time to find a pool of living water. Take a drink.